Welcome America. My name's Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite animals, the gar. So come dive with me to the letter G. Gar are from a family of bony fish known as Lepisostidae, which means scale bone. Unlike the true gar, many species of fish share the same name, but are not true gar. The word gar comes from the old English word that means spear, and many species of North Atlantic needlefish are also called garfish. But these are not related to the freshwater torpedoes that live in North America. There are also species of gar that live in Asia, such as the needle-nosed garfish, Xenotodon cancilla, which is also not a true gar. These fish are very bony bony and are covered in incredibly tough scales known as ganoid scales, which are coated with enamel-like substance known as ganoin. It is like wearing teeth on your skin. Imagine using Colgate Total as a body wash to keep your scales nice and shiny. Gar have been around for over 100 million years. These danger logs were already in existence for over 15 million years before T. rex came to be. Very little has changed in their evolution, which makes them a living fossil. There are seven living species of gar. The genus Lepisosteus, the slender gar, has four species in it. The smallest, Lepisosteus platostomus, is the short-nosed gar, getting to be around two foot on average. These gar are often distinguished from other species by not having the spotted patterns or having the wide snout of the Atractosteus gar. Perhaps the most interesting fish in this genus is the long-nosed gar, Lepesosteus oseus, which means scale bone bone. You'd think it would be named Lepesosteus nasus for nose, but it's not. It's scale bone bone. These fish are characterized by their extra long, narrow snout that is nearly three times the length of their head. The genus Atractosteus, or arrowbone, has three species and are much larger. One of these species is the biggest gar, the attractive spatula, or the Atractosteus spatula, also known as the alligator gar. These gar can measure well over six feet in length and weigh in in excess of a hundred pounds. They live in the southern parts of North America, mainly in calm moving streams and rivers. Gar are lion weight predators, which means they look like a log until an unsuspecting fish comes close and they snap with great speed. Much like you waiting for the pizza delivery man as you lie on your couch. The mouth of a gar is lined with hundreds of needle-like teeth, meant to hold on and trap small fish. Larger species of gar have multiple rows of upper teeth, which aid in holding on to larger prey. Gar prefer to eat fish head first, allowing the scales and pokey bits to be pushed down as they swallow it whole, and you will often find a gar rearranging its food in its mouth to be head first before consuming. One fascinating thing about gar is that in addition to having gills, they also have a modified swim bladder that acts as a primitive lung. You can watch gar go to the surface and gulp air, and later expel CO2 from their gills in the form of large bubbles. This is incredibly useful during seasons where their streams dry up and oxygen content in the water becomes depleted. Female gar will expel their eggs into the water column as males swim by and fertilize them. The sticky eggs will then attach to aquatic vegetation. In a few days, small babies will be swimming around. It can take over a decade for a female gar to reach maturity and half as long for a male. Gar are long-lived animals that are a wonderful part of our ecosystem and really a joy to see at the aquarium. So next time you're out for a walk and go near a tree, that tree might be a gar, and that attractive spatula might be hungry. So be careful out there.